Good morning everybody. So I'm going to do a what are you in a day today. It's highly requested all the time to do these sorts of videos. I'm actually going to make it more of a longer chatty one. So not a note, like a voiceover. Um, just yeah we're at home today. It's the Easter holidays. It's actually a rainy day so it's a good day that we plan to be at home because to be fair it's pretty miserable out there. I've recently just got back from my 645 no class. It was half an hour hit got back at half past seven, it's now quarter to eight. I've, I took this with me, so I took a coffee, my standard Nespresso with my oat milk in this, and then my water. So that's what I've had this morning since I got up since six o'clock this morning. It's now quarter to eight, I'm just gonna do an eggy wrap. I know it's not that original, but I love it. And it's very filling. Um, yeah, so, and I always have a lot of people ask me how to make it, it's just really easy. So I'm gonna show you how I do my eggy wrap. So first off, I always use the mini wraps. You can do standard normal wraps. I personally just am happy and content with two eggs and a mini wrap. It's perfect for me. I use a mini pan. So I usually just spray it down with any sort of fry light spray. This is an olive oil spray. So I'm gonna crack in my eggs. These are, I'd say, they're on the larger side of eggs. Sometimes I use one egg and egg whites, just depends if I've got any in, but it doesn't really matter either way, to be per perfectly honest. And then I just give it a little bit of a uh, mini whisk in there and just let it get salt and pepper. Basically, just let it start to like cook a little bit. Your it will just go a little bit white, obviously, at the bottom. So while I wait, I'm actually going to have some of this peanut butter uh, granola, just a little serving, 30, 40 gram serving with some blueberries, oat milk. It's like a little sweet fix before my eggs. I'm hungry this morning. Oh, it's the weather that, as well. When it gets a bit miser miserable, yeah. I always feel like I get more hungry. Chicken's like that. Oh, chicken's like that. Mars is playing with chicky stuff. So oh. this is, um, yeah, it's cross. It's like a paleo sort of granola. Those are nuts in it. It's really tasty. <clears throat> this is delicious, by the way. Mmm. <clears throat> Right, as you can see, you see it's going a little bit white. This is where you still want it to be sticky on top, so it'll stick, yeah. your wrap will stick to it. So I just pop that on top, like that, and just leave it. Right, it's starting to bubble a little bit around the edges. Obviously this does make it so much easier if you've got like a non-stick pan. Mine is getting a little bit temperamental, don't just because I use it so much. But um, <clears throat> I just kind of give it a little bit of a, you can see it's not quite quite there yet. Um, right, it's ready to flip. When you feel like it's not going to fall apart, just give it a flip. I like that, the wrap to be slightly crispy. That's why I flip it over like that. And also just cooks the edges a little bit better. Oh. Yep. Right, egg you out. Done. A bit crispy. I don't know why I flipped it. I need it the other way. And also, it just, you want it to cool down a little bit quicker, just don't wrap it. But, well done. You just wrap it up, like so. And that is your eggy wrap. And the kids love these, especially Miles. My current obsession. Nando's Perinés, oh my god, so good. I'm just actually just going to put a little bit of blob and I just dip it in. But yeah, that is my breakfast for this morning. And I just have more water now. Right, we've got a apple and a tea snack break at half past ten. Right, leftovers for lunch. I have got, I've just got it in the microwave, just reheating it. So I've got 
one pork bear sausage which um, I basically I try and do like a little bit more just to have leftovers for lunch the next day I just find it so convenient everyone else has got like cheese and ham toasties and crisps and a snack and I just like having something like this I can reheat it for two minutes it's a good source of protein but also veggies and you know it's filling it's a filling meal I don't really have to think too much about it which I really like so yeah I'll show you that once it's done I'm gonna have a cheese stick as well because I really fancy one of these I do really like these I don't know why but I'm gonna have one of these honestly leftovers are the best I find it even tastes better the next day so this is uh, the cauliflower rice with loads of veggies added some soy sauce and sweated it down with uh, tender stem broccoli. You can see the broccoli in there. And then obviously I've added the uh, sausage as well. So yeah, that is gonna be my lunch. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this, of course. <clears throat> and that is what it looks like. My leftover lunch. This is the cauliflower stir fry rice, by the way. It's from Costco. It was in my last Costco haul, all the one before. It comes in packets, and I would say, well, that serves two. It's like two portions in that, and then I usually add extra veggies, but yeah, I'm loving this at the moment. We've had such a chilled day today. It's been really, really nice. I say chilled, obviously I've, I'm always busy. The kids are always busy doing this and they've been in and out of the house, doing chores and stuff. But um, yeah, you've pretty much seen what I've had all day and I've had water in between like those caffeines. I had to have, honestly, I don't know what it is about home days, but it just like drains you. I don't know if it's like mentally draining, but I needed that coffee. I had that coffee like about an hour and a half ago. I never usually have a coffee in the afternoon. I usually maybe go for more of a tea. But anyway, I'm just about to have a dash, which is a like sparkling uh, water. Uh, this one's the raspberry flavor. I always just have one of these. Sometimes I'll have a gin and tonic or whatever, but sometimes I just have um, something like this just while I'm cooking, just to kind of get me through. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna do, tonight, I'm gonna do um, Hunter's Chicken. So I've got my chicken breast fillets. I've got some streaky bacon. I wasn't actually gonna do this recipe. I was going to do a simply cook recipe, but actually I've got bacon to use up. Um, and I just thought I fancied it. You know, I thought this is one of Graham's favorite meals. If we go out for dinner, if this is on the menu, he usually chooses this or scampi and chips. So yeah, I'll show you how I do that. It's really, really basic. I'm gonna do roasted new potatoes with it as well. Or might just cut them up into wedges. Yeah, I'm going to do that later on. So I'm just cutting the chicken a little bit just because it will just help it cook a little bit quicker and I just, it will just, you know, get through, especially the, the fattest part of the chicken better. I'm not really on a time limit or anything, but I do like to stir. I just find it cooks better. The sauce and everything will go, you know, into it, especially like the bacon. We've got all this bacon to use up. I'm literally just gonna wrap it round each slice. How many have we got? I think we've got enough for two bits or three bits each. All right, we'll start with two. On there, and then they go straight into the tray. I'm gonna bake those in the oven for about 35 minutes, I would say. On about 180. So for my potatoes, fresh knives, fresh board, wash your potatoes and just make them into like little wedges. They cook so quick as well and they are just delicious. I love these little salad potatoes. Okay, then I add some rapeseed oil. Olive oil will do. I don't know why I just like rapeseed oil. Um, and then I've got my garlic and uh, 
pink salt. Like that. It's like roasted garlic in there. It smells incredible, this is. And then I've got two seasonings. We've got smoked paprika and this New York buffalo seasoning, which I think is for chicken, but honestly, it smells and it's really, really good. Right, pull the chicken out, spin it about 35 minutes, and... Woo! Just basically gonna add, I don't have any grated cheese, but sliced cheese will work just as well, I think. If not better, I think. Mm -hmm. Got some sliced cheese to go on top. And then I've got some of this bacon barbecue sauce. Why do I feel like I did that the wrong way? Like I should have put the cheese on top of this. Oh well, it's fine. It's gonna melt nicely either way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Smothered. If you had grated cheese, you could just sprinkle a bit more on, you know? Right, kids want these for pudding. We've not tried this before, so it's just the, the dough and it just says you've got to leave it to stand for like 10 minutes out of the fridge and then you bake it. Cut it and bake it for 10 to 12. And then obviously there is five fast, so it's not going to go around that well. So I'm going to put the cinnamon swirls on. Again, we haven't had these before, but you get six. Um, Graham doesn't do cinnamon anything, so he won't be having those, but he'll definitely eat the cookies. Okay, so that's the block. So... Ooh. It's got like the white chunks and the milk chocolate chunks. Okay, and these ones just gives you like the instructions, the little icing you get with it. So you just pull it apart. <laughs> it's pretty cool now. Um, so this that is how the cookies turned out you can see they caught a little bit but it was getting to the point where they weren't spreaded enough you know what I mean so I just kind of had to just leave them a little bit and turn the heat down a little bit but I managed to make 11. They look they look pretty good and then obviously the cinnamon swirls look amazing actually. These are really really good by the way. Definitely worth buying especially if you've not got actually Violet and Alistair really like these but if you don't really have the time to cook, like make them it's really convenient and actually yeah definitely worth buying.